ahora sí. el problema es que ahora Depende. las mujeres le juegan la vuelta a uno. Bueno, si se dejan. Ay, teacher, how are you? Ah, vaya, gracias. Thank you. I'm okay, you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, teacher. Hey, teacher. Hello, Hello. Good evening. Teacher, mm -hmm. aquí hey, good evening. conociéndonos un poco, estábamos acá. Excelente. That's nice, that's nice. Thank you so much. Eso es bueno, eso es bueno. En lo que oh. ingreso, ¿verdad? Ok. Solo tres minutos de retraso. No es nada. Exacto. Exacto. Thank you. Gracias por, por, el, por el tiempo y la, y la paciencia, ¿verdad? Ok. All right. Eh, tell me, guys, how are you? you okay? Fine? Happy? Fine, Ready? Thank you. Yeah. Fine. Great. Fine. I'm fine. Excellent. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Well, eh, I'm going to pass attendance because we are going to start in a moment with the class. And remember, as soon as you listen to your names, I will ask you to help me and say press. Alba? Hello, Lee. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana de Nora? Present teacher. Thank you. Well, I can see Alba. Hello, Alba. Ana Stephanie? Ana Stephanie? Brian? Present coach. Thank you. Thank you. Cesar? Present teacher. Thanks. Elvis? Present. Good. Emerson? Emerson? Gabriela? Present teacher. Perdón, estoy teniendo problemas de conexión. It's okay, Emerson. No problem. I can see you. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for letting me know. Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Her son. Present teacher. Thank you, Glenda. Present teacher. Good. Jose. Jose or Josue? Jose. Jose. Hola. En Josue. Oh, sorry. Josue, antes lo, lo mencioné también. <laughs> Josue. Yes, Jose. Jose. Thank you. Eh, Jocelyn, I'm pretty Jocelyn. Jocelyn? Present teacher. Thank you. Karen. Present. Kenya. Kenya. Present. Thank you. Lisbeth. Present. I am here. Thank you. Marco. Present. Nancy. Present teacher. Great. Oscar. Present. Thanks. Ovidio. Present teacher. Good. Raquel. Raquel. No. Sandra. Sandra. Present. Sonia. Present. Good. Wilson. Uh, Wilson, dijo, right? Yeah, Wilson. No, I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Jenny. Jenny, is Jenny here? I guess. Okay, well, we're going to start. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, this is our class number three. Just give me a second. Yeah, tell me. What's the teacher? Um, yo, um, paso lista y no dije presente, lo siento. Thank you, yeah, you're in my list. Thank you so much. Ya la agregamos, no se preocupe. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, let's start. Uh, any questions, everybody, about the platform? Preguntas con respecto a ejercicios a la plataforma en general. ¿Cómo vamos? Hemos avanzado, hemos iniciado. Por cierto, solo que. Solo que quiero mencionar que 
durante el día se les compartió, ¿verdad? Un, dicho, nosotros en la, perdón, una información, ya se las comparto ahorita. Ya lo tengo. Ya lo tengo. Y se nos, bueno, se nos indicó, se nos pidió que les recordáramos acerca de eso. Ah, ok. Y lo siguiente. Debemos de, si hemos iniciado, ¿verdad? Y vamos al ritmo o hemos avanzado. Excelente. Recuerden que para esta semana deben de tener completo son uno y dos y dos ¿Eh? por lo menos por lo menos avanzar la dos verdad en la ya avanzadita es posible terminar la, la sesión dos con verdad la nota Alelia va en la cinco ya really wow <risa> no. en la cinco ya la han terminado <risa> toda <risa> No, exagerados. Sí, sí, sí. ¡Envidia! ¡Envidia! Ya debe haber hecho el examen final ya. Wow. That's quick, that's quick. Excellent, excellent. Pichel, ¿se puede revisar ahí? Vea si ya lo terminó. Sí, sí puedo revisar. Curioso. No, no, no. Es información privada. Veamos ahí a ver si es cierto. Nos Excelente. interesa, nos interesa saber. Ya lo voy a revisar, a ver si es cierto. El nombre amar. Este, claro, avanzar, ¿verdad? Hasta la sección 2. Sección 2. La nota, recuerden, del 100%, mínimo 80%. Y verificando también eso, el progreso, cómo vamos con los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Y ese porcentaje de nota y de asistencia también. Estar 100%. Ahora bien. Y recuerden que mañana sería una semana, ¿verdad? El último día para completar una semana. Entonces, hay que ir, ¿verdad? Avanzando. Y aprovechar durante viernes y fin de semana. Podemos avanzar mucho más. Si nos hemos atrasado, por favor. Eh, espero que tengamos el tiempo para poder avanzar. Yo sé que son ocupados, ¿verdad? Pues son ocupados. Eh, pero hay que también, ¿verdad? Hacer un tiempo ¿verdad? para poder completar y al mismo tiempo practicar. Es muy importante. Wilson. Eh, sí, teacher. Eh, solamente tenía una consulta mañana. ¿Hasta qué hora tendríamos para tener terminada lo, la sección que corresponde a la plataforma? Lo que pasa es que por mi área de trabajo me ha costado este, completarla. Entonces, para saber hasta qué hora tengo el límite. ¿no? Básicamente tendría hasta la medianoche de mañana. Sí. Ok. Para completar la sección 1 y sección 2. Okay. Eh, excelente. Eh, es que, ¿verdad? Durante la semana 1 y semana 2, completamos esas dos, perdón, esas tres secciones, 1, 2 y 3. Entonces, para eso le van a estar haciendo los recordatorios eh, en el grupo acá, para que ustedes vayan, ¿verdad?, eh, completando. Y recuerden, si pueden ir avanzando mucho más, excelente. No hay ningún problema. Y igual que no sé si alguien más tiene preguntas. Eh, teacher, ¿Ya? yo por cuestiones, por cuestiones de que, digamos, por el trabajo no, no he podido, digamos, entrar a la plataforma. Hoy, hoy, lo, hoy logré entrar un ratito, pero por cuestiones de tiempo no he podido. Así es que mañana me pongo al día. Perfecto. Gracias por, por notificar. Repito, ¿verdad? Yo sé que pasan la mayoría, ¿verdad? Vamos en diversas actividades. Y ¿verdad? hay que dar un doble esfuerzo de que estamos en ese proceso. Ok, y no sé si hay más dudas, más comentarios con respecto a la plataforma. Eso lo, sube, lo hemos estado explicando en las primeras dos clases. 
eh, pero sí estar en fase en seguir completando. Sección 1, 2 y 3 durante esas dos semanas. Mañana terminamos una semana, el viernes ustedes descansan, no hay clase, ¿verdad? Hasta el lunes. O sea, hay, que, hay que aprovechar esos días, viernes, sábado y domingo. Eh, posiblemente, ¿verdad? Acaba la hora de clase. 9 días, el viernes. Y sábado y domingo, pues, hacer un espacio suficiente ¿verdad? para avanzar mucho más. Y, y bueno, si hay dudas, ahí vamos a estar siempre pendientes. En el grupo WhatsApp, de una persona. Y por cierto, ¿verdad? Con respecto a sus, a sus ejercicios, ¿verdad? Estamos ahí pendientes. Eh, yo voy a estar revisando y dando, ¿verdad? En ese caso, posibles correcciones. Si las hay. Si le voy a estar, ahí lo voy a estar comentando. Para que ustedes lo tomen en cuenta. Ok. Well, I think we're going to start. Si hay más dudas, repito. Alguna inquietud, pregunta, hagámoslo saber. Ok. Let's start with the topic. Simple present questions. Yesterday we saw simple present statements, right? Which forms? Which forms did we solve? Which forms did we see? Sorry. Tell me, which forms did we study? Last class. Affirmative and negative. Negative, negative forms. Exactly. Negative Affirmative and negative. Hello, Jenny. Thank you. How are you, Jenny? ¿Qué más se ha unido, por cierto? De que... Además de Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Presente. Thank you. Good evening. Yo también, teacher. Oh, sorry. Jose, right? Yeah. Very good, Jose. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Fine. Fine. Great. Okay, let's continue. Let's go with the simple pressing questions. Class number three. Let's start. This is the way we use questions, right? We have two kind of questions, right? We have gestural questions and information questions. With the simple present, we continue with the simple present. Have gestural questions, and we have WH questions, or we can call them like information questions too. Information questions. It is like it is like. Las dos formas, ¿verdad? La vamos a encontrar así. Yes, questions, and the other ones, WH questions or information. It is the same. Okay, so when you have the, the simple present, specifically the chest of questions, what is the way we form the questions? It's simple. We use do or does, these are called affirmative verbs. To the verbs, right? And the way you structure the question is you use do or does, you use subject, you have the verb, which is in the base form, and you use, at the end, you use a complement. And the question mark, don't forget the question mark, it's necessary. This is called a question mark. It is necessary, right? You always use the question mark. Just at the end. In English, we don't use the one at the beginning, right? We use it in Spanish, yeah. In Spanish, we use ambos in the interrogation, but in English, only this one, right? Okay. Okay, when you use do, Right? You said, right? Do I? Do you? Do we? Do they? No, followed by the verb, right? Followed by the verb. Do I? Do you? Do we? Do they? 
on the use does, and we have specifically the third person singular. What is the third person singular, guys? She, he, it, she, it, she, it, she, it, she, it, it, she, it. Yeah, that is a third person singular. So with a third person singular, we use that's why right? we we'll say that's she, that's he. Right? That is the way. We use the same structure, the same formula with the two forms because we have the tutoris and the verb is always in the base form. The verb simply is a form of us. Teacher, yep. this is uh, tenses and positive. The questions in, yeah, in affirmative because we have questions in negative too, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For example, I can say, right, would you have brothers or sisters? That is a question, right? Just give me a second. Okay, you have a just no question. Most of the times when you have just no questions, you get your answers, right? Your answers. Okay, and you say, do you have brothers or sisters? You answer, yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. You. Yes, I do. you use another kind of question like we say do we have an English class at 9 p.m. do we have a class do we have an English class Oops, sorry class at 9 p.m. yes I do okay you can say yes, yes I, do. I do good you can say oh, no yes, i don't or no i don't exactly okay. you know that's that's because you know that is you know something that you said right your own answer right that is personally la respuesta verdad puede ser personal uh, but if you say or you want to give me your answer as a class you can you need to answer in this case right do we have it in this class at 9 p.m you say yes we do right or no we don't If I'm talking about you, right? I mean the, the class. The class. Okay. Class. But if I say, listen, eso sí, eso en ese caso aplica si usted, ¿verdad? Me responde. Yo les hago la pregunta. Do we have this class at 9 p.m.? I said, yes, we do, teacher, or no, we don't. But if it is the case, you know, that. I include myself right in the group, of course, and imagine that I, you know, I ask the question again, but I include myself. So I said, do we have an English class at 9 p.m., guys? And we say, yes. Um, well, maybe another person, right, ask us, or another person ask the question, right? Digamos que otras personas hacen la pregunta, ¿verdad? Acerca de nuestra clase. Do they, let's say in this case, do they have an English class at 9 p.m.? We'll say, right? Yes. I mean, they do, another person, right? Or no, they don't. Okay. Do they have an English class at 9 p.m.? Yes, they do. No, they don't. That is the way. Okay. These are just some questions. Okay, Aleli, I think you have a question. Um. Son respuestas cortas, pero si queremos dar una respuesta larga, uh, tendríamos que bajar el, el verbo y podría decir, yes, we do, I have, have an uh, English class at 9 p.m. Exactly. Very good, Arlene. Okay. We can have, uh, with just no questions, we can have long answers too. 
Con ese tipo Okay. de preguntas, por lo general, ¿verdad? Se tienen respuestas cortas. Sin embargo, se Okay. puede tener respuestas largas también. Por, Okay. por ejemplo, eh, with the first question, right? Listen, do you have brothers or sisters? If you say yes, y yes, I do, you can say, right? I have two brothers. That's it. But if you say, no, I don't, you say, right? I'm I the know. only, I'm the only one child. Okay. I I'm the only one child. I don't have no. brothers and sisters. Sería no I don't I am I'm the only one child. Child, yeah. Child, child. Okay. So those are okay. long answers. Now these are long answers. Mm -hmm. Long answers. And it's possible. La traducción en español sería yo soy el único hijo único. único. Ah, hijo único, ok. That is what we say in English. I'm the only one child. Ok, so we can give long answers and really in everybody. But just some question. Ok, you... thank you. Very good. When we have the third person singular, you know, we can answer questions too, right? And we can say, eh, I can say, right, does your father, does your father work on weekends? So as you notice, we change the auxiliary, right? We, we use das. The subject, your father, and the verb is in the base form, right? As we saw yesterday, Right with the affirmative form, we change the verse where right? we add s, es, and ies. But with questions in negative form, we use the verse in the base form. So we don't have to say that your father works. No, because we have the auxiliary. So the question is, does your father work on weekends? And the answer, the possible answers are yes, does, or no, he doesn't. That is the way. Does your father work on weekends? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. If it is, for example, this way, does she, uh, does she go to the gym um, on Saturdays? Right? Does she go to the gym on Saturdays? We don't say that she goes. No, because in this case, it doesn't apply. Why? Because again, we have the auxiliary, does. And now we're changing the, the subject, right? That she, that she, we can say, yes, does. No, she doesn't. That is the way. So here we have, you know, more questions, right? You know, as you can see here, in this kind of questions, just the questions, we are giving long answers. Long answers. So you said, do you get up early? No, I get up late. That is a long answer. Or does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Or do they try to work? Yes, they try to work every day. Those are long answers, really. Teacher, yo creo que uh, the very fast speak Um, los ejemplos ha pasado como que demasiado rápido lo explicó con respecto al works y work y el siguiente porque le, me quedé en la luna no sé, no sé si seré la única y el go con goes no, 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 no I'm, you know, I'm, I'm safe, right? listen again, listen again when you have the third person singular Right, and you have questions with he, she, or it. We always use the verse in base form. We always, right? I was saying, you don't say, we don't have to say that your father works because this is incorrect. You have to say, does your father work? It is because we had auxiliary, thus. That's why we don't include S, right, in the verb. So we don't have to do that. I'm just explaining, right? I'm just, you know, affirming this information. Does your father work on weekends? That is correct. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. 
The same with the other example, right? You say, does she go to the gym on Saturdays? That is correct. We don't say that she goes. I'm just, you know, explaining. I'm just giving or affirming that this is incorrect. You have to use a verb in base form. Does she go to the gym on Saturdays? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. O sea que de la misma forma que en las oraciones afirmativas el verbo eh, no sufre ningún cambio, solo el auxiliar. Exactly, in negative, in negative, no affirmative. Okay. Sí, ahí es donde yo me había perdido y no creo que sea la única porque Ovidio veo que como que no tampoco le había captado. No worries, ask me, ask me your questions. Ask me your questions. <ríe> Estás riendo. In, in, in negative, listen, in negative, in, a, in, in questions, we use the verbs in base form. We only change the verbs. We add S, E, S, and I, E, S, only in affirmative. Only in affirmative. Gerson. Sí, solamente eso que mencionaba el compañero. Eh... Con lo mismo que yo le preguntaba ayer, es en la, en la oración normal, en donde el verbo eh, se ve modificado por la condicionante S o S o los modelos de los que usted nos explicaba. Pero cuando se responde de la manera negativa, es cuando el verbo no sufre la modificación en la oración. Exactamente. Exactamente. So this is the way, basically, you know, to say, this is the way. If it is affirmative, we'll say he goes to the park in the afternoon. So the verb changes, right? The verb changes. He goes to the park in the afternoon. So this is an affirmative. It's an affirmative sentence. A okay. negative sentence is, he doesn't go to the park in the afternoon. So as you can see, the verb is base form. Why? Because we have the auxiliary, that's it. And if it is a question, we say, does he go to the park in the afternoon? We have the auxiliary, and that's why we use the verb in base form. That is why. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, solamente en la forma afirmativa es que el verbo sufre cambio. Ya en la forma negativa y en la forma de preguntas, solo el auxiliar es el que sufre el cambio. Sí, yes, sí, yes, exactamente. Exactamente. That is the way. He goes to the form in the afternoon. Affirmative. Negative. He doesn't go to the form in the afternoon. Negative, right? Question. Does he go to the park in the afternoon? And we answer, right? Yes, he, he does. No, he doesn't. Because it's a question. Okay? Does it make, does it make sense now? Is this clear? Estamos bien hasta el momento? Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Those are just the questions. And let me give you more information. Right, here we have the questions. We use do or does to make a question in the simple present tense. Just a question, okay? And we say, right, do I, do you, do we, do they? Do you go to the party? Do you go to the party? Okay. Do I, do you, do we, do they? If it is that person singular, we use he, she, or it, right? He, she, or it. We use auxiliary does. Does he, does she, does it, right? Does he like, does she want, does it, go, for example, etc. So here we have some examples, right? This is an affirmative, you speak English. Affirmative sentence, that is a sentence. That is a sentence, you speak English. But if it is a question, we say, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Another example, it's, this is an affirmative. 
He speaks English. He speaks English. A question. Does he speak English? Does he speak English? That is a question. And we say, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. That is the way. Right? Listen to this. The base form of the infinitive to go, to need, to speak, to live. Look, the third person verse lose the final S in questions. That's what I said before, right? Cuando son preguntas, los verbos se usan siempre en forma base. No se les agrega S cuando es la tercera persona. We always, with negative in questions, with negative in questions. Negative questions. Oh, only in affirmative, he goes. Only in affirmative, that is the way. Okay, just some questions. Do you have any doubts or interrogations, preguntas, dudas? Elvis, ya. Yeah. Uh, un ejemplo con it, no hemos visto ninguno con it. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, when I say, for example, does it go to the park in the afternoon? Oh, I was going to change it. I will say, does it go to. Sí, I will say, party? does it go to the party? Mm, Thing is that I want to talk about an animal, right? I want to talk about dog. Does it go to what? I don't know, to let's say the park. The park in the evening. So in this case, I'm using eat and I'm referring to a dog, right? Eat equals a, a dog, right? Remember that we use eat for animals. Animals, sorry, things, objects, etc. So I said, does it go to the park in the evening? And I answer, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. This is a way. Right. So most of the times we refer to you know things, objects, animals, etc. Okay, that is the way. Those are just the questions. Everything good? All in? Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Va a, eh, va a compartir la imagen que tiene ahorita por el WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will. Okay. No problem. Okay. Very good. Let's go with WH questions. WH questions. This one's. Right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. When we have WH questions, guys, it's important to know this, right? That with WH questions, this is the formula that you follow. Formula. You use a WH word. You use do or does, which are auxiliaries, plus subject, plus verb in base form, and we use a complement. This is the way you construct a question in the simple present. And remember, when we have WH questions or information questions, in this case, we'll get long answers because we get more information, right? Más tipo de preguntas, tenemos cosas largas. Son las preguntas con más información, para más información. Y remember, we have WH words. That is something important. Because every WH word has a purpose. Right? So cada, de, cada una de esas palabras tiene un propósito. Carlos, which one? The WH words are what, who, when, where, why, which, how, how many, and how often. Those are, you know, some WH words. WH words are used to make questions that require information in answer during that yes or no. So that is the difference with right? just no questions. That with just questions, we say just no, right? 
con las preguntas, si es un question, solo decimos sí y no, ¿verdad? Sí y no. De esa forma respondemos. That is the difference between W questions. We give more information. And what are the W words? What? What is used to ask for information? General, right? General. For example, if I say, remember, we need to keep in mind this, right? That you say, do I, do you, be, do they? And if you had the third person singular, you say, does she, does he, does it? Okay, for example, I will use what? I will say, what do you do? Weekends. So I want to ask for more information, right? What do you do on weekends? Used to ask for information. Okay, you can say, right? Well, uh, I go out with my family. That's it. I go out with my family. What do you do on weekends? I go out with my family. What? Okay. Uh, if you use where, for example, well, let's use who. Who is used to ask about people. Why? People. My family, my brother, my sister, Carlos, Jose, Susana, Carmen, etc. For example, who do they live with? Who do they live with? Can say they live with their parents. Who? Their parents. That is, you know, the answer. People. People. Something that you have to keep in mind, guys, with questions is that you have to follow the question. You have to follow the prompts. Algo muy importante en las preguntas es siempre escuchar o de pregunta y Seguir esa estructura. Como se nos preguntó, vamos a contestar. Who, they, who do they live with? They live with the parents. Seguimos lo mismo, Carlos. Eso es muy importante. Seguir lo que nos pregunta. Who do they live with? They live with the parents. Who, people. When you have when, for example, when is for time, right? You used to ask for time. For example, it can be like, when does your sister go to the gym? When does your sister go to the gym? When does Never. your sister go to the gym? Never. Okay, you can say she never goes to the gym, exactly. She never goes to the gym, right? When does your sister go to the gym? She never goes to the gym. So, you know, this is the time, right? Never, never. That is the answer. Or it can be another possibility. We can say she goes to the gym. Um, every day. Goes. I'm sorry? Every day. Every day, very good. Every day. This is the answer, right? When? Every day. That is a way. Uh, we use where, for example, where is for places. You used to ask for a place or location. I can say, right? Where does Jose go on Saturdays? I will say yeah, on Saturdays. And I will say, no, Jose or he goes to the beach. On Sunday. Where the, 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 the WH word is where we use it for places, we we'll say the beach. That's it. And remember, as you can see, we are respecting the structure, right? WH word to the verb, subject, the verb, and the complement. Siempre vamos respetando la estructura de la pregunta. Where does Jose go on Saturday? He goes to the beach on Saturdays. That's a lot okay? We have more, as you can see, we have why, for example, why is used to ask for a reason. 
four reasons why. For example, why do you want to study English? Why do you want to study English? You can say, right, well, you know, I want to study English because uh, I would like I would like to get more job opportunities. What is the reason? This one. This is the reason. What do you want to study English? I want to study English because I would like to get more job opportunities. Okay. This is the way we ask questions, guys, because there's double these questions. Okay. Any questions so far? Preguntas, dudas? Preguntas, dudas, estamos bien. Toda esta información, teacher, eh, ya sea imágenes y ejemplos, no nos puede enviar al WhatsApp. Yeah, again, again. Eh, porque lo de ayer tampoco nos, nos envió, o sea, la mayor cosa también. Bueno, al menos yo voy a veces copiando los ejemplos y, y me quedo a medias porque los pasa muy rápido. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm going to send the, the information right now. Bueno, de hecho, alguien me preguntaba, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo fue con el grupo? ¿Cómo ese grupo fue? De las, de las clases, ¿verdad? Se lo voy, se lo voy a estar compartiendo. No sé si gustan que les comparte de un solo la clase, que vaya imagen por imagen, por ejemplo. Eh, si se puede el archivo eh, en PowerPoint, en las tiene, ¿verdad? Sí. Y aquí la presentación. Sería okay. mejor la presentación, porque si empieza a enviar imagen por imagen, se va a saturar el WhatsApp solo de imagen. Ya. Yeah. Ok, I'm going to send you the, the classes, right? No problem. Okay, that, you know, that is the way we use, right, the WH questions. We have, as you can see, different WH words. WH words. Any questions? Okay, we use which, for example, is used to ask about choice. Choice. How is used to ask for weight or form. How many is used to ask about quantity. And how often is used to, uh, is used to, ask about frequency. Okay, Elvis, yeah. Uh, en el caso de why, siempre debe ir um, because. Yes, because it's a reason. In some cases, we tend to vary. We use things, things, but it's another way. Things. But most of the times we use because, yes. En algunas ocasiones podemos utilizar things, ¿verdad? Es otra forma. O otra forma podría ser, pero eso más adelante, ¿verdad? Empezamos a ver eh, conectores, por ejemplo. Pero hay otra forma como expresar because. And you say, right? I want to study English. Or I would like to get more job to study. Study some other way. This is a, a, a conjunction. This is a conjunction. Wait, no, you will see this later. Vamos a ver eso más adelante. Okay, any questions again? So far, so good? Example, when we use how often, how often is like this. How often 
do you study English? Right, so you ask for the frequency of activities. Preguntamos acerca de la frecuencia de las actividades. For example, you can say, eh, I study English every day. Or let's say, I study English twice a week. Twice a week. Two times a week, right? Two times a week. Two times a week. How often do you study English? I study English twice a week. Okay. So we, uh, we're, we're saying right the frequency of the activity. Decimos la frecuencia de la actividad en caso. Dos veces a la semana. How often? Twice a week. Twice a week. That is why. Okay. Eh, when we use, when we use, sorry, which? That is for a choice, right? It can be like, which part do you prefer, right? Which car do you prefer? This is a choice. Let's say that we have a Honda, Toyota, Hyundai. And you say, right, okay, I prefer the Honda. Which car do you prefer? I prefer the Honda. Then la, 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 la choice. I prefer the Honda. Uh, well, this, these are some other examples, but I'm gonna send this example to you in a problem. Um, this one's in the chat. Okay, there you go. Which car do you prefer? I prefer the Honda. Any questions? Preguntas, dudas, todo bien. Teacher, una question. Ya, yeah, sabe. Eh, con personas también es igual, la, sería igual la pregunta y la respuesta con which. Eh, sí. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, este, le pregunta a un hombre, va, con cuál mujer quieres bailar, cuando hay bastante, eh, sería which. Which, uh, which how, uh, no, sería con quién quiere o con, con cuál quiere bailar. Un ejemplo. <laughs> um, well, in this case, you can use. Yeah. Which, uh, which will you, will you, will do you take? Okay, yes. yeah, I got you, I got you. Uh, you can say which women, it's okay. Yeah, which women, women yeah. Do you woman. want, or, you want. Yeah, do you want to dance with? Dance, yes, with. Okay, yeah, it, it can be, yeah, it can be possible because we, we're having a choice, right, an election. Which women okay. do you want to dance with? Yeah, it's good. The answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to dance with. I want to dance. Uh, Rehanda, uh, for example. <laughs> that okay. is the answer. Very good. Pregunto porque, digamos, <laughs> este, la, digamos, yo lo quería un poquito más claro también con personas, porque, o sea, solo vi que lo puso con, con carga, con objetos y pues ya con. Yeah. Con personas ya es otra cosa. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's good. It, it's possible because we, you know, we have some choices in some cases. Cases. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Or there is another possibility. Okay. It can be, it can be possible like this. Who do you want to dance with? This is the most common. I want to dance with Alejandro. Esa forma, esa forma es mucho mejor. Porque okay. con which Casi no, no se, no se utiliza en verdad para personas, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, ¿verdad? puede ser válido también. Y ahí así quedaría, who do you want to dance with? 
Yes, yes. No sería, te quieres bailar conmigo? With me? No, because it's in general. It's in general. It's plural. Oh, okay. Plural. Yeah. If you want to say with me, my friend, you have to say, uh, you know, I just a question. Do you want to dance with me? That is the way. Eso es para alguien en específico, entonces. Exactly. Exactly. This is general and this is specific. General specific. Es que, es que, bueno, yo en mi parte tengo un pequeño problema, que a veces trato de buscarle significado a las palabras por irlas traduciendo. Entonces, en ese caso, eh, yo entiendo, ¿quién quiere bailar con? Entonces, ese, ese problema sí lo he tenido siempre. Sí, exacto. Eh, y eso, verdad, es un ejercicio que hay que ir haciendo poco a poco, despegarnos del español. Eh, no tanto pensar en español, traducir palabras. Siempre les digo a los grupos, ¿verdad? Los, cada participante. No hagamos mucha traducción. Hasta Sería los... como darle una interpretación diferente. Exacto, eso, se pa eso pasa con las, las películas traducidas, porque si se traducieran como, como están escritas, sería un deschongue, pues. No se Exacto. entendería nada. Exacto. Muy bien dicho. Y esa es mi... Otra ¿verdad? de las recomendaciones que les doy. Hay que poco a poco, ¿verdad? O sea, es empieza. Más, ¿verdad? Muchas veces, pues, ¿verdad? Eh, es bien difícil que de entrada, ¿verdad? Lo veamos haciendo, pero poco, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Haciendo ese ejercicio de irse despegando. ¿verdad? Eso de traducir las palabras en, en, en mi mente, ¿verdad? Traducir. ¿verdad? Por eso siempre les digo, ¿verdad? Traducir. Es bueno, claro que sí, pero no siempre hay que traducir. Es mejor, es mejor, uno, una palabra, la palabra que está nueva para nosotros, investigarla, pero buscar una definición, por decirlo así, en inglés. Si es posible un diccionario inglés-inglés. Y un ejemplo. El ejemplo a veces nos, nos da todo, nos da la, la idea. Es un ejemplo de contexto. Entonces, hagan el ejercicio poco a poco para que no esté verdad en eso, pensando simplemente en inglés y al mismo tiempo en español. Entonces, eso nos confunde. Como mencionaba Lili, ¿verdad? a veces hay palabras o hay ¿verdad? expresiones, simplemente las veamos en películas, etc. Y queramos para nosotros sale una equivalencia ¿verdad? en español. Simplemente no, no sea posible. Pues, para la redundancia, no sea posible. Porque es una diferente, ¿verdad? Como posiblemente lo exprese nativo en inglés, ¿verdad? Etcétera. Entonces hay que ser cuidadosos. Ok. Eh, ¿Any questions? So this is the way. Who do you want to dance with? Who do you, dan who do you want to dance with? I want to dance with Alejandra. Or, Alejandra, do you want to dance with me? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Specific, right? Okay. One more time. Questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Estamos bien? Yes. No. Eh, solo quiero intentar. Which color do you prefer, teacher? Yeah. Good. Good job. Which color do you prefer? I prefer blue. Good job. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Teacher. En el cuadro anterior, en el que estaba anteriormente, hay dos how many y how often. Que, ¿Cuál es la diferencia ahí? How often is used for, uh, you know, the frequency of the activities. Es ah, para la, la sí. frecuencia de actividades. I study English twice a week. I study English every day. 
I said okay. English on Saturdays. Okay. You have you how many? Uh, the how how many is the wallet? No. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just to, to ask for, for quantities. Okay. For example, you can say, right, how many, I would say, apples? Oh, how many, how many apples. apples do you have? Fresh. ¿Cuántas manzanas tiene? Aleli, ¿cuántas Emerson, está traduciendo. <laughs> <laughs> how many apples do you have in the fridge? I have five apples. Fridge. Fridge. Fridge is the same as refrigerator, right? Refrigerator. Okay. Or if I say it right, right now, right now, be honest, be honest. How many dollars do you have in your pocket? Okay. How, how many dollars do you have in your pocket? I have $10, for example. Mm -hmm. $10. Okay. That is way. Okay. It's rich. <laughs> sí, ese right. es el, el, que, el que más he ocupado. How money? How many? How yeah. money? Uh -huh. I how don't many? have money. <laughs> sí, en las oh, that, that, That's too bad. That's Ay. too bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Well, um, sorry. No, 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 nada. Solamente que tenía encendido el micrófono. Oh, it's okay. It's But the, you know, those are double H questions. We have more examples here, right? What do you watch on TV? A film. Right. Esa es otra forma de, de contestar, ¿verdad? Como pueden observar, solo se contesta lo que se... Por decir así, ¿verdad? Lo que se pregunta. Solo se contesta eso. A film. ¿Verdad? Muchas veces, es, eh, las personas responden así. Eso es lo, lo, las personas nativas, ¿verdad? Solo contestan así. Es como que, como decimos, ¿verdad? Y eres gran. Y está bien. But you have to respect, right? Respect the, the prompt. You have to follow the prompt. It's simple as easy. Like, follow the prompt. Si llamo las estructuras. Follow the prompts. What do you watch on TV? I watch a film on TV. I, I watch a film on TV. Where do you live? In London. Alguien podría decir, ¿verdad? O incluso nosotros, en London, en San Salvador. We live. I live in San Salvador. I live in London. They live in London. ¿Qué ¿Ambas formas son correctas? Sí, claro que sí. Claro que sí. Eh, una forma, ¿verdad? Eh, speaking, una conversación, eh, posiblemente con alguien nativo del idioma. Eh, muchas veces, ¿verdad? Las personas nativas... Eh, utilizan bastantes contracciones, utilizan ¿verdad? formas cortas, reducen las... Y, y es por eso, ¿verdad? Porque hablan, ¿verdad? Quieren, bueno, hablan fluido, ¿verdad? hablan más rápido. Entonces, eso es lo que se tiende a hacer. Y ambas formas son, son válidas, claro que sí. Pero por eso podría decir, ¿verdad? Que esa forma es un poco, ¿verdad? Y informal, más que todo en conversación. Pero si es una forma gramatical, tiene que ser estructura completa. I live in the family. Eh, José, and then Elvis. Yeah. Una pregunta, ¿qué pasaría si le agregaran al, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Where do you live? Si le agregaran la respuesta, ahí sería más larga la respuesta, agregándole el dude. I live I in live London. Live. I do live, sería I do live. Sería oh, London. ok, I got you. Se hace yeah. más larga agregándole, correcto. I do live in London. Correcto, yeah. la respuesta es de la do. Yeah, this is possible too. También posible es posible. Y, y es correcto, claro. Okay. Uh, aquí en esos casos, cuando utilizamos el auxiliar, do, es porque hacemos más énfasis. ¿verdad? Damos como más seguridad. I do live in London. Eso es más seguro. Eso también es válido. Okay, no, okay. no es tan, ¿verdad? Como, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? no es tan como un verbo, pero sí lo utilizan bastante. I live in Lambda. Y eh, estamos haciendo más énfasis, dando más seguridad de algo. Cuando utilizamos los auxiliares en forma afirmativa. Sí. Teacher. Yep. How, how ask 
price. Vamos a pedir precios. Oh, ok, yeah. Eh, for example, you can say. Oh, in this case, we use eat. Listen, you say how much. We use how much. That is another WH word. It's a WH word, right? How much in how many? How much? The same for quantities. How much does the cell phone cost? And you say, right, it costs. It costs. I'll say $300. How much does the cell phone cost? It costs $300. Or it can be like, how much do the glasses cost? Take the glasses, what they cost, uh, let's say $50. So here yeah, I said that's the cell phone cost because it's you know singular one, right? That's a cell phone. In this case, I said two because glasses is pura. We have a pair of glasses, right? One and two. Ese caso es plural porque los lentes, verdad, son plurales. Los lentes, perdón, ese término o esa palabra es plural porque se tiene, verdad, un lente y dos lentes son dos, pero eso es plural. Pero en ese caso no sería una tercera persona singular por ser objeto, no. No, no, porque es singular. The glasses, again, one lens and the second lens. Son dos lentes, dos lentes, entonces es plural. Se convierte en plural aunque sea un objeto. Ok. Es lo mismo con choose, ¿verdad? Choose es plural. Aunque sea objeto, es plural. Entonces decimos, how much does the choose cost? Say they cost uh, $100. Esa es la forma. Porque es... Okay. Uh, any questions again? You know, here we have more examples, but these are common. And I'm going to assign you an activity. I need you to work on this. I need you to complete the questions with do or does. Then write more for questions, but right for more questions, right for more questions. Okay. You to complete the questions using do or does, only that, do or does. But if you want to answer the questions, it's good. Vamos a completar las preguntas utilizando solo do or does. Y si es posible, podemos responder. And you have to construct four more questions. So here, as you can see, we have four more questions. Does, what time, do, and when. Okay. When we have when, by the way, when we have when, it's because we ask for the time, right? What time do you get get up at 10 o'clock? Como podemos separar acá, tenemos las preguntas, solo respondemos para, vamos al, al grano, como decimos, at 10 o'clock. Es, es pos, posible, ¿verdad? Es, también es correcto, es correcto. Pero de ser posible, pero hay que se puede dar respuestas completas. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. Forget about the time, right? Time. What time is another WH word? Esa es otra palabra, ¿verdad? Que se utiliza para preguntas. What time do you get up? What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. What do they drive to work? So when do they drive to work? Every day. Okay? That is why. Well, I need you to complete these questions and I'm going to assign this to you as a homework. Se le puede, se le, le puede hacer esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Ese es un ejercicio como práctica, como tarea. Vamos a completar utilizando two or that. And then you have to answer the questions. Cuando hacemos las preguntas también. Hacemos y escribamos cuatro preguntas más. Siempre con sus respuestas. Is the activity clear? Estamos bien? Todo claro? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Eh, perdón, yes. Eh, vamos a hacer las oraciones y, o las preguntas de acuerdo a este ejercicio. ¿Las vamos yes. a inventar yes. o, o, o ese? Exactamente. Well, the, from one to six, 
you have the questions. You have to complete just for two or dance and then answer the question. Answer the questions. La primera seis, ya están las preguntas, solo que completar con do or das y responder. Las últimas cuatro, sí, hay que elaborarlas y con respuesta. ¿Las vamos, ¿la vamos a hacer ahorita o quiere que las haga, hagamos de tarea? As a homework. As a homework, yes. Ah, oh, ok. Yes. Because it's time, sorry. It's time. Es, ese es el cuadro que está en el material, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ok. Eh, if you want to take a screenshot, go ahead, no problem. For example, in the first one, it says, what do, you, do you get up early on weekdays? You can say, right, yes, I do, for example. You say, I get up at 6 a.m. That is the, the answer. Esa sería una respuesta, ¿verdad? Deben de responder las preguntas, man. Para que ustedes vayan practicando. La pregunta, respuesta. Pregunta, respuesta. Okay. Well, guys, this is the homework for today. Please practice with just the questions and information questions. We're going to start right here. And before to go, I will let you know again if you have some questions. Antes de finalizar, la quisiera saber nuevamente si hay preguntas. A ver si todo está claro. No? No questions. Thank you guys. Les voy a estar enviando más. Lo pueden ver las clases también, ¿verdad? Se lo pongo por, por WhatsApp. Les voy a estar enviando ejercicios extra para que ustedes practiquen. Ok. Um, well, guys, this is all for today. I want to wish you a great night. Thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow at 9, right? Have a great night and stay safe. Bye bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank bye you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thanks. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Same to you guys. Thank you.